Hi everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Simple Sledge. Alright, I'm going to start off with a simple sketch. And I am going to be using a straight edge. Just because it has a wooden handle that... Uh, it's wood, it's a straight piece of wood, so I want to, you know, add that in. And so uh, you might want to get one too, pause it here, go grab one. Or you just do what you want to do, you know? This is how I draw, you draw how you draw. We'll meet somewhere in between. Okay, so this is going to be pretty stri simple, straightforward, pretty simple. Um, because it's a sledgehammer, that's all it really is. And so uh, there's not going to be much to it. This may only be like a five minute video, really. Um, but I'm going to do this and have some fun. Alright, so I'm going to make the middle of it like that. Erase all those other lines. And I think that's it. I'm going to get started here. Not like that. Down to that. Mm, a little thinner, maybe. A little smaller. Maybe it's a little big. Yeah, it is a little, little thick. There we go. That looks a little bit better. That looks more like the sledgehammer. Like the simple sledge. Okay. Alright, let's get started. So I'm going to use a, a big sharpie and add a few little tiny lines with a thinner sharpie, but uh, for the most part this one. So I'm just going to take my uh, straight edge, guess at where my line is. Well, not guess where my line I see where my line is, but guess. I'm going to move up this way and just guess that it's going to be like that. And even if it's not, we're going to determine everything off this line anyway, so we're just going to go down like that. And so now I'm going to go back this way, kind of parallel, find, make sure it looks good on each side, and redraw that. Pretty simple, pretty easy. All right, and there's the handle. We're done with that. I'm just going to kind of round it off and, and uh, make it really choppy here, apparently. <laughs> That's okay. This is how I draw. We'll have fun with it, right? So I also see that I kind of shifted the whole thing over, so I just got to compensate for that whenever I redraw it. So there's kind of a, a notched groove right there, so I'm going to come around like this, go up like that, notch it just a hair like that, and go back up again. And so that is what I want this for, just to do like a little a little groove, you know? I kind of exaggerated. It's a lot bigger than than uh, than it actually is. But see how mine kind of stands out? looks good. It looks different, unique. Cool, right? Okay, so we're just going to do a straight line straight across. And so, like I said, I kind of feel like I went this way a little bit further. So I'm going to go further this way. So I'm just going to come all the way across. Do like that. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Then I'm just going to kind of just round it up just a, just a hair. And then I'm going to go up to, like, right there. I guess I'm going to come down, huh? <laughs> so, um, let's see. So, uh, I'm going to do this one about to right there. That about looks right. So now I'm going to go back across. Like that. Eyeball if it's going to look good. Yeah, it is. Because what I was going to say is, like, if I was going to eyeball that if... if this line going parallel doesn't look good, like connected where this line edge ends. Well, you work it out differently, but mine happened to work, so I'm not going to worry about that. So, um, let's see. I want my my uh, my mallet uh, to go all the way through like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a little line, just so I know where it is. My mallet, my handle, like that, just to do something like that. All right. So. The last thing I'm going to do here, because this is a simple mallet, there's not much to do besides color it, is I'm going to add this little detail in here that's uh, a, a different rounded edge, okay? So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to, let me come back with my pencil and sketch this real fast. Like that. And like that. So I'm trying to find a center there. And again, we're just eyeballing, so. Okay, something like that. Okay, and so same thing here. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna do with a thinner sharpie, just so it'll stand out more. So I'm gonna come down on this side. Same thing over here on this side. I'm kind of eyeballing what looks right, kind of centered. Same thing over here. Same thing over here. 
that looks about right. And then I'm just gonna go across with the lines. So I'm gonna go like that basically. So I'm gonna go ahead and start from over here and see how, that's what I meant, that if it doesn't line up, then don't line it up, don't worry about it. Then guess that it's gonna start back like around there and go back across because I'm more trying to follow that line than, than anything else. So now, sure, let's reconnect them. Don't really have to, because again, like I said, coloring is really gonna take care of it. So I'm gonna, same thing, I'm gonna reconnect over here, pretend it's still going, and about right there is where it's gonna pick back up, and do like that. And you know, I'm not even gonna connect that. I'll let coloring take care of that. So uh, that's good for now. I'll take care of the rest with color, and that is exactly what it is. A simple sledge. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.